Hi guys, it's Taurus back with another video. Taurus Nation, how you doing? If you don't know me, I am Taurus. This is Taurus TV, and we're about to do Kom Kukle. Ah, anyway, Kom Kukle Taurus part two. And I'm gonna have a little drink whilst I'm cooking because you know it's a Friday. Smile for me, mommy. Friday, you know, everyone's about to be happy, everyone's about to be jolly, everyone's about to be nice and you know, sweet. Because it's Friday, we work hard the whole week, and now we have to relax on a weekend. You see I me? Mean? So, this is what we're going to do we're going to do salmon balls. Salmon balls? Yeah. So, basically, it's basically salmon in a fried Jamaican dumpling. If you don't know, you about to know. <laughs> so, we about to get in this video. <laughs> See you in a minute, baby. Okay, so where I'm gonna be adjusting the camera because it's a bit weird, yeah. But we're about to prep the flour, yeah. Make sure you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> we're about to prep the flour. You have to prep the flour because the flour is the most important thing, okay? So the ingredients you're gonna need for the flour is some milk, any milk, cow's milk, coconut milk, oat milk, rice milk, goat's milk, almond milk, any milk you have, you can use it, yes? Yeah? So you're gonna need some milk, you're gonna need some butter, yeah? You're gonna need some seasoning, yeah? And then you're gonna need some salt so the flour don't taste fresh, okay? So that's what we're about to do, yeah? So you're gonna need some plain flour, and you're gonna need some all-purpose flour, yeah? You're going to need the seasoning for the salmon, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Yeah? All right, cool. So, let's, let, let's get a bowl. Oh, Jesus. All right, cool. Hold on. Let me, let me just turn it this way. Yeah? So, here's the salmon. Yeah? The salmon that we're using is basically, don't worry, it's in the packet. So, I haven't touched it yet. It's um, 10 wild salmon. From Asda, like I said, Asda, cut me a check, man. Cut me a check. I've been doing TikToks in your hours. Like, don't play with me. So, yeah, they come like this individual, like, yeah. All right, cool. So, we're about to take these out. Let's, let's just do it like this. So, they're all defrosted, all right? And slap them in there. Take out this. No fish has been in here. And there's no fish juices because they're all in packets, okay? All right, cool. So, you're going to take a, bo a bowl. I have to keep doing this because, obviously, I'm doing this by myself. <laughs> so, you're going to get some self-raising flour. This is the main thing. Self-raising is what, it's like baking, so it swells. Plain flour does not swell. So, if you have plain flour, you're going to need to use baking powder or baking soda, however you call it. Yeah? All right, cool. So, I eyeball everything. I don't really have... I have a scale, but I don't use it. Because once you know how to make these, you, it's like baking. You already know that the amount. So, it depends on how much you're cooking. Yeah? So, you're just going to put... I'm making for two people. So... But that much? I, I really don't know. I, listen, you're... <laughs> Alright, cool. So... <laughs> Alright. So, you got the... Some plain flour and you got some plain flour. You don't need as much plain flour. You just need a little bit of plain flour, yeah? Just to give it that body, yeah? All right, cool. So, you just pour a little bit, just a little bit. Maybe like quarter of a cup. You don't need that much, yeah? So now you're done with this. You put it to the side. Oh, yeah. Before we go any further, you guys... Uh, already. All right, cool. So you guys, y'all know already. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Y'all know if Toys Nation is fucking with me heavy. I love Toys Nation because y'all are my family. You guys have been there since day one. Like, I, kn I know you guys are about it. If you're not Toys Nation, like, comment, share, subscribe. Please, comment, man. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> I'm juicing. Y'all want to know what I'm drinking? I'm drinking from Lidl. Like, <laughs> If you scroll down my, 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 my page on my YouTube, y'all know I sponsor Little a lot. Little cut me a check. Don't play with me. Like, <laughs> yeah? All right, cool. So, we got that. You're going to add some salt. So, maybe you're going to need... Oh, no. <laughs> you're going to need a teaspoon of salt, yeah? Just a little bit. Just, just about that, yeah? Boop. All right, cool. Yeah, if you want, you can you can mix it. Mix, put all your dry ingredients first. Okay, cool. Yeah, and then I like to season my batter. So we're going to use some fish seasoning, you know, 
Sea Island, yeah, Sea Owls, whatever you, <laughs> listen, it's 99p, it's cheap and cheerful, I don't really care. All right, cool, so you're gonna put just under a capful, a quarter of a capful, boom, yeah, all right, cool. Then you're gonna get some garlic powder, yeah, by Tropical Sun, all right, cheap and cheerful, here we go, yeah, just put a little bit of that, same amount, so just a little bit, just a little bit, boom, all right, cool. And then um, you're going to put some onion powder, yeah? <laughs> Tropical sun. Again, cheap and cheerful. How are we going? Yes, baby. Yeah? All right, cool. Just, just a little bit. Ah! Oh, boom! All right, cool. Yeah? So, these out the way because we're done with that for now. All right, cool. Yeah? So, if you want, you can, you know, mix it up a little bit. Yeah? Cool. Now we've done all of that. You're going to put some, I like to use this butter because it's baking. We're basically baking. It comes out nice. It makes the, ba the, the fried dumpling soft, yeah? So we're going to put, let's see, one, two, yeah? Put that in the microwave. Put that to the side. Yeah, so it's about... Oh, my goodness. I promise. I wash my hands. I promise. It's about that much. Put it in the microwave. You get me? Boom. Microwave. Oh, my Jesus. You don't want to put it in for too long. A minute is too long. Just for it to melt. Yeah? That's all you need. All right? Cool. So we're going to... Just wait for the baby. Wait. Uh. Listen, I'm on almost to 200k on TikTok. You guys, come on. Toys Nation is growing. We're unstoppable, motherfuckers. We're unstoppable. Okay? All right, cool. So, like I said, literally it's left on 36 minutes, yeah? The butter, the butter is melted, yeah? So, we're going to leave it here for a bit. So, now, we're going to take, I'm using unsweetened soil. Yeah, because apparently I can digest soya milk, but I don't usually use anything that comes from... Hold on, what's this? Meow, meow, meow. Oh, it's vegan. Who? Because I'm, I'm pescatarian and I, I'm lactose intolerant. But for some reason, some of these are liars, but this one tells the truth. Okay, cool. So we're going to put... You just have to eyeball it. You don't want a soup consistent. You want a firm consistent. You want to make it like you're making dumpling. Like it has to turn into a, a dough. You don't want it to be soup. Otherwise, you put too much and you have to put more um, self-raising or plain flour, whatever your choice. Yeah, so we're just going to... You know? I put a little bit and then I mix whilst I'm putting a little bit. So you want to take a spoon and you just want to keep keep going with it. Let me bring you guys closer. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. So as you can see, you need more milk because the flour is still there. Just put a little bit more milk, 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 motherfuckers. Yeah. So keep mixing it until you get to the dough. When you get to the dough, you know you're sweet. You know you're saucy. You hear me? So I'm just going to show you guys basically until when I get there, then I'll show you guys. See, I just made a rookie mistake. That's too much milk. So now I'm gonna take some more self-raising because I want it to be nice and fluffy. Put a little bit more of that motherfucker in there. And then mix it. You know your dough's ready when well, you need the dough, meaning when you start to mix the dough and the whole bowl is clean. Yeah? Cool. So keep going. You see how the bowl's starting to clean? You see how it's starting to get clean? That's how you know you've got the right consistency, yeah? Cool. I'm not even going to lie, this takes effort, yeah? Just keep mixing, keep as, you're, as you please. Everyone's a bit different, but yeah. So that's when you, you have to go in with your hands now, yeah? Make sure you wash your hands. Coronavirus, everybody's a bit, you know, crazy about this, this crazy stuff. But coronavirus, all of that. So, um, yeah, take the flour, bring it in. Look, look, look. In. In. That's how you need flour, yeah? Just 
just bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. It's going to take some practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's not hard to do. Let's keep adding, because you don't want it to be sticky. Because what's going to happen is once you get the dough ready, you're going to let it rest so it swells. And then that's when you're ready to put the, the salmon on the inside and start to fry it. Yeah? So keep... If you want, you can put flour on the actual chopping board and then mix it yourself. Just start kneading it, kneading it, kneading it, kneading it. So all that seasoning is going to flavour up the dough. So when you bite into it, it's not no regular schmegler, you know, salmon bowl. So... You should be able to touch this and not get any flour on your hands. It shouldn't be sticky. See what I'm saying? It shouldn't, it shouldn't be sticky, yeah? To the point where you can go like that and no flour is on your hands. Yeah? So now you're going to leave that. Cover it if you wish. I'm going to wash my hands. Yes, shorty. Yeah? So now you add the butter. People might add the butter after, whatever case, but I want the butter to be a little bit warm. So you're going to add a little bit of butter, just a little bit. Add some more flour if you want. Once you get the hang of it, you know the, 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 the kind of ratio. But me, I just go. Because the butter is what's going to make it nice and, you know, soft and fluffy and nice. But once you get the hang of it, it's easy. Then you can just make it how you want to make it. Some people have like all the measurements and all of that. But me personally, I just do what I want to do. Because I'm a tortoise and I do whatever the hell I want, motherfucker. Yeah, so you just... You see how it's turned yellow now? That's how you know it's going to be soft. Feel me? Soft. All right, so now you're gonna let that rest, yeah? So you're gonna cover it with some foil paper. Yeah, boom. Put that to the side. So now, look at that, terrible. Anyway, I'm gonna wash my hand. Make sure you wash your hand. That's what I'm saying, yeah? And then we're gonna deal with the salmon. Now the salmon you have to wash with lime, cause you know, you gotta wash your meat and your fish with lime. So I'm gonna take a wooden bowl. I'm gonna get some scissors. I don't know where the hell I put them, them, them freakazoids. Where's it? Oh, so we got the scissors. We're gonna cut them like this boom 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 slap them in the bowl like that one yep there we go that's how you do it two yep there you go that's how you do it and then three yep that's how you go now these obviously have water in it so you have to drain it out boom like that yep wash your hands and then you're gonna add your lime juice. Wash your meat. Don't play with me. Wash your meat. Boom. Oh. Like that. Let that sit in there. And you gotta careful because these things they they tend to crumble. So you have to just careful with it. Then rinse it off. Like that. Then you wash your hand, just a little bit, like that. Make sure your hand is away from the bowl, otherwise you end up with soap in your fish. Yep, okay, cool. So now we're going to season the fish. So you have your fish here. So now we're gonna bring these 
back into play. Yeah. Some onion powder. I'm going to put that in there. Then you're going to do some garlic powder. Put that in there. I like my salmon well seasoned. Sometimes I don't, but sometimes I do. In there. And then you're going to add some mixed herbs in there. Wait, hold on. Wait, that's, that's not happening. All right, cool. That's, that's how it's going, like that. Yep. You're going to add some all-purpose seasonings. Yep. Oh, okay. In there. And then I like to add some extra virgin olive oil from Asda. I swear, Asda needs to cut me a check. I don't care what anyone says. Okay, maybe maybe it's just yeah. See, it's one of them things here because it's got that in there. I have to kind of turn it, but it's okay. It's fine. All right, cool. And then one Maggi cube. Now I use this as a container. This is not Maggi cube container, but this is a Maggi cube. So we're gonna put one. There's only three fishes. The fish. We put one Maggi cube in there, like that. Come on. All right, cool. Sprinkle. Cool. Yeah. Now we're going to make sure this is well seasoned. Wait, let me bring you guys closer because for some reason I feel like, I feel like this ain't working too, too tough. Yep. All right. So we're going to rub it down, rub it down, rub it down. Make sure every piece of fish has a coating of seasoning. You do not want unseasoned fish. It don't taste nice. Okay? Cool. So, rub it down. R Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Rub it down. Rub it down. Rub it. See? Seasonings. You see that? All right. Cool. Yeah? We're going to wash our hands. Over this way. Again. To the sink. Oh, Jesus. Soap. Turn back that way. I need to dry my hand. Hold up. All right, cool. So now that's there. We're going to preheat the pan to medium heat, which will be number four on my electric stove because you know I'm busy. Mm. Okay. Move everything out the way. Now you're going to put a little bit of oil. Don't use it, or actually use vegetable oil because it's not going to fry. You see this crisp and dry? This is for frying. This one, you can cook it with this. All right, cool. So. This is a non-stick pan. I suggest you use that. Cool. So you can use the same pan you're going to fry it in because it's the same thing. You're going to fry the fish in there anyway. Yeah. You just want to cook this fish so that way the flavor locks in. And then when you're done, when that's when the dough's done resting and it swells, you're going to take all the air out of it and then you're going to shred the fish and put it in there and then fry it. But I'll show you guys in a minute. So we're just going to leave all that out of that. This, I don't know any other way. This is the Jamaican way of doing it, but I, I don't know any other way of doing it. Technical difficulties. I don't know where I left off, but we're just gonna start over again. So basically, um, we've preheated a non-stick pan, yeah, for the fish that we just seasoned, so that way the flavor, we don't want flavorless fish, but the, we season the dough and the dough's got flavor, but the fish don't have flavor. So we're going to flavor the fish, okay, cool. So we're just running that in. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit because I'm impatient. I understand for that. So whilst we're waiting, we're gonna drink. And I'm gonna tell you guys about some pepper sauce. We got some pepper sauce. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. So this this is this is basically yeah, mm -hmm. the best sauce I've tasted in my life. Yeah, because um not I have a thing, not a lot of people or companies know how to make correct pepper sauce. Big big companies like mm -hmm. um like Tropical Sun don't know how to make good good pepper sauce yeah so um it's hot but then it's like a flavor where it just disappears after a while and i'm like mm, I'm, I'm, I'm all right i literally eat this on everything that i own uh, everything that i eat which is you know i don't eat meat but this goes great on meat this goes great in fish vegetables pasta whatever you want if you like sauce you like pepper this is the one it's called miss peace pepper sauce it's guyanese homemade um if you follow me on instagram snapchat and um you um, what's it instagram snapchat and whatsapp you will know 
and TikTok, you know that um, what's it? There is a company that I have recently shouted out that I've just come in contact with, and they are a family-owned business, and they make every bottle by hand, scratch, authentic, original. No one has this recipe. No one knows this recipe. Do you understand? This it comes in two different flavors, but because I like this flavor, I bought this flavor. This is they have a mango flavor and then they have the original pepper flavor. I decided to buy the original pepper flavor. I didn't buy the mango flavor because I just like this flavor. So um, but the mango flavor is banging, but I just like a more kick. Yeah, this one banging. Yeah, I'm going to link in the description below the actual Instagram page. Um, they don't do worldwide shipping. They only do UK shipping for now because it's recently open business. Um, but if you do want to purchase this, you have to have Catch App and you have to DM the person or the, um, the account so that way they know what to do. It's Catch App. It's just Catch App. Yeah, this ain't no promo. I ain't getting paid. Like, this is... It's in my house, yeah. I ordered three, three bowls because <laughs> I'm in love with the sauce. I'm in love with the sauce. So I got one, two... And three yeah that's the way i shouted it out if i don't believe in it i ain't shouting it out i don't business my name's attached to it i'm not shouting it out that's your business yeah so <clears throat> okay <clears throat> so for that we're gonna take a drink because we love pepper sauce I, i'm just saying okay so now the oil is loose it's running all over the pot make sure you coat the pot with the oil because you don't want to miss no spaces and we're going to put the fish in. Get a fork. My house, apparently, people in my house eat forks. I don't understand where the forks are going. But yeah, we get a fork, yeah? And we're going to put it, not skin down first. We're going to put the flesh down first because the skin cooks faster than the flesh. So you're just going to... Yeah? Cool. These take about... It says 25 minutes on the oven cook, but... I like to do these three minutes a piece on each side. And <laughs> Jesus, y'all don't mind my friend, please. Thank you. Jesus, big ass mouth in the corner over there. We cooking, we cooking with Taurus. Yes, my fucker, Taurus Nation merch will be out in May 2nd. Shop Toys Boutique if you want your eyelashes, you know, you want your, your hair accessories, you want your one pieces, your two pieces, your little slippers, you know, your bags, your lip gloss. You know, Shop Taurus will be, or Shop Toys Boutique will be open in May, I mean, April, sorry, you know. We drinking. All right, cool. No, I love this pot. Because it don't stick. This pot, it don't stick, it don't stick. This pot. It don't stick. It don't stick. This pot. It don't stick. All right. You see that? And I'm not even lying. Like it actually don't stick. It don't stick. Yeah. All right. Cool. So whilst that's doing its business, I'm gonna show y'all the progression on this. You see it swollen. Woo! Yes, baby. Hey, baby. I wanna give it to you. We need more drink. We're going to take some more drink. Hello. She ain't even listening to me. She can't even help me out here. I'm doing the mm -hmm. most right now. Can I get the 7-Up, um, please? Seven up, really. Oh, yeah, that. Thank you. Bear in mind, fish will shrink because it's, it cooks. Any meat that cooks in a pot, it will shrink. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool. All right. You know that the fish is ready to turn over when the sides start to curl up like that one. That one starts to curl. So now you can turn it. Look at that. Being a pescatarian, yeah, it's very, it's very knowledge. It's good to have knowledge about different types of fish and how they cook. Because not every fish cooks the same. You feel me, shorty? Ooh, it's breaking apart already. How about that, my friend? So 
So when the fish is cooked, I have to keep turning the camera. But oh my god, I've been recording this whole time. I haven't been recording this whole time. So what we've done, <laughs> sorry, what we've done is we flipped the fish. Yeah, we've seasoned it. We put it in the pan. We flipped it on the skin side. You put it the meat side down first because the meat side doesn't. It, it takes a little bit longer to cook. The skin side doesn't take that long to cook. Yeah, even if it breaks down in the pot. It doesn't matter because you're gonna break at that. You're gonna rip apart this the fish anyway. Yeah. Cool. So right now, this is what the fish look. I don't know why it wasn't recording. I don't even know where to. You know what? Forget about it. All right. Cool. So it looks like this so far. Salmon does not take that long to cook. Oh my ring light is doing them all. Salmon don't take that long to cook. Cheers to Friday. I made that too strong. All right, cool. So, um, yeah. We're just waiting for this to go ahead. But just in case y'all forgot. Oh, I didn't get to, re to, to record it because I was too busy talking smack. Anyway, pepper sauce, yeah? I ordered three of these. Um, if you follow me on my Instagram, you will know that I shouted out a page that I swear by. I love pep I'm Jamaican. I love pepper sauce. Yeah. I don't know if y'all caught it on the other because I don't know if I was recording. But yeah, come. Bye. <laughs> I don't know if y'all y'all got it, but um I don't think I was recording. We're gonna turn this, this down to number two because it's starting to be the most. But I love pepper sauce. I'm Jamaican. Yeah. Now, me personally, brands like Tropical Sun don't really do hot pepper sauce. Let's move this back. Come on. Yep. All right. Yep. Okay. Turn it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, brands, this is not paid promotion. I ain't been paid for this. I just like pepper sauce as to why I've ordered three. I'm a bit nuff. Yeah. But um, brands like Tropical Sun, they do pepper sauce, but it's not enough kick for me. I like pepper. Um, I'm Jamaican, Spanish tone, big up yourself. Boop, 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 boop. I like pepper, yeah? So um, I've come across this company. It's a business, it's a family-owned business, yeah? And basically every bottle is made by scratch in the house, like literally in the kitchen, like grandma, everybody's making these pepper sauces, yeah? So um, it's Guyanese and it's, there's two different types. There's a mango one, and then there's the original hot pepper sauce. It's a hot. It's um. What's it? I think it's green mango or something like that. Um, sweet sweet green mango or something like that. But um, yeah. So it's a um. What was I gonna say? Yeah. Um. Don't worry. I'm. I'm just. It's. It's fine. But yeah. So um. <laughs> Jesus, save my soul. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I've been drinking, love me. Um, I'm trying to watch the fish. But anyways, I eat this and everything that I own, yeah? Y'all know I'm vegetarian, I don't eat meat. But every fish that goes in my mouth, I put this on top. Vegetables, pasta, everything, I put this on top, yeah? So at the end of the day, um, what's it? This is, it's, I'm gonna warn you from now, if you can't handle pepper, you need to put a little bit, just a little bit, yeah? But you should try the mango, the green mango, if you can't handle pepper, yeah? But, so if you, um, if you, if you, if you, uh, my, my brain's going mad. If you, if you can't handle a lot of pepper, then you should try the green mango. But if you can handle pepper, then try this one. Because I'm telling you, it's not just flavor. It's actual heat behind it. So it makes sense. If you like heat try this one i ordered three because i don't like when i run out i don't like when i run out i don't like having to wait for orders i don't have like having to go through dms and da, 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 cash up all over again i just said you know what let me just get the whole shebang and just deal with it yeah all right cool but it's a home run it's a family run business they do have an instagram page it's called miss underscore miss miss underscore peace pepper sauce it's guyanese and um it's it's a news paid so obviously you're not gonna have a lot of content but i'm telling you now i ain't been paid for it and um it's in my house i'm eating it so um you should be able to trust me toys nation you already know right. my word is my honor so um yeah you see, you see what i'm saying all right cool so but yeah 
this is this is banging you, you know what i'm saying i might put a little bit on the on the on the salmon itself but i it depends because i got a four-year-old and um i don't really want her mouth burning off so i don't know how much sauce i'm gonna put in this but yeah it's cool um it's nice i like it it's made with proper jamaican scotch bonnet peppers that's all i know because it's on there you see what i'm saying but it's banging it's actually banging like i'm not gonna promote something with my name on like attached to it and add, and, and this whole bunch of shit it's, it's actually banging and they i know they take time i know they take pride in what they do because they ask me how hot do i want it da, 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 that they actually take and the clientele like I, I'm, I'm a sucker for packaging and when i saw the packaging i was like <laughs> you see me but yeah it's banging so make sure you guys I'm going to put the link in the description and I'm going to put a picture right here of the Instagram page so you guys know where to get it at. If you don't know how to get it, just go on my page and you'll see it. Yeah, but make sure you follow me on my Instagram so you guys have the updates and the and the, the new information and you know the, the do's and the don'ts and the ins and the outs. Yeah, all right, cool. So now the salmon is ready. We're going to turn this off. Yeah, and we're going to go back now to the dough. You have to let the salmon rest, yeah? All right, cool. So now we're gonna take the dough out, yeah? I'm just gonna smack it out, boom. We're gonna put a little bit of, oh, there it is, flour. She brings that on top, cause now you gotta knead the air out of it, yeah? And then you're just gonna, oh, can you guys see me? All right, cool. You're just gonna gently, like you're making bread, gently, gently. Gently, gently, gently. Yeah, you don't want to do too much. You don't want to do too much. Just knead it a little bit, little bit, little bit at a time. Uh, Y'all don't mind me, I've been drinking. That's how y'all know that this recipe is simple because I'm juicing, I'm making food. All right, boom. All right, cool. So, we're gonna take the same bowl. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's, let's not do that. We're gonna take a fresh bowl, yeah? Put the dough to the side. We're gonna take this salmon and we're gonna rip it apart. We're still gonna let it, you know, we're still gonna let it rest. Yeah, so we're gonna take one sa oh, Jesus. Oh my goodness. Put it in the bowl. Put it in the bowl. Put it in the bowl. Now, like how y'all like to do pulled pork, we're gonna do pulled fish. Yeah, you just take the fish and you just rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it. Like that, rip it. That's how you're gonna do it. Like that, yeah? Rip it. Don't make, you don't want big chunks. You want to make sure that it's consistent with the flow of the dumpling. Rip it. Now you gotta let it rest. Can you see the steam? The steam, you see that steam? Okay, cool. So you gotta let that rest one time. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to divide the dumpling. Do you mind? Pick your first fingers or tell me something. It's nice though. Mm -hmm. That's your business. So you're going to start to cut the dumpling. Nice. Depends on how big you want the dumpling, yeah? I don't really like big dumplings. Because it's going to... Come out the kitchen. Come out the kitchen. Come, come out the kitchen. You're going to roll it. Yeah? Then you're going to press it down. Yeah? When you press it down, you're going to open it like that. Put your finger in the middle. And that's when you put the fish on the, in the inside. Do not put too much fish. If you put too much fish, it's, the fish produces natural oils. When you put too much fish, the fish is gonna produce natural oils and it's gonna make the dumpling that already has butter in it and it's going to break the dumpling before you even get to eat it, yeah? So you're gonna put, so you're gonna put it like that, yeah? So I wanna show you guys. I know I'm supposed to be letting this fish rest, but I'm a bit, I'm, I'm hungry. All right, that's not happening. So you're gonna press it in the middle and you're gonna put this. Oh shit. Is it full? You're gonna press this in the middle, you're gonna put it like that. No, it's not. It, it just told me that my battery was low. You're gonna take it and you're going to squeeze it like that. 
and that's one dumpling already made. Boom! Child of mine ain't got nothing on me, bro. Are you mad? Are you mad? All right, cool. So that's one. And you do that until this is finished. Yeah? So you're gonna roll again. And you're going to press. It's the same way that they make chicken balls, prawn balls when you order Chinese food. This, it's the same way. The only thing is the recipe is a bit different. Yeah? So you take a little bit of fish like that put it in the middle like that you take it up and you literally just cover it cover it cover it cover it <coughs> like that yeah and if you want you can roll it and that's two already made so basically i'm gonna time lapse this because we ain't got time for that okay cool so i'm gonna go quiet oh, oh you know what you know what to be honest with you, what I'm going to do is I'll come back to you guys when I'm finished the rest of it. All right, cool. Zoo! All right, cool. So I'm back, yeah? I've made all the, the salmon balls. I've been eating out of the pot. That, that's all I'm saying. I've been eating out of the pot. Yeah? Obviously, I was making this for people that I don't know. I wouldn't be doing that. But because I, I make it for myself and my friend, it's no experience. Yeah. All right, cool. So now we're going to put... Some of this, crisp and dry, yeah? One ninety nine, second hand shop. I mean, whoa, I'm juice. Corner shop, boss man. If you're UK people, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so we're just gonna... I feel like here, yeah, you don't have to wash this up. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because it's gonna give the, the, the dough flavor anyway. So we're just gonna slap that in there. You want a good half a pot, yeah? I'll put it on six because I'm impatient. I don't have time for that. Where's my drink? Oh, hi. Oh, I need to pee. Mm, close that. I got my drip of disease. Mm, 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 mm. mm. We didn't do that. All right, cool. So, let's recap. When you make the dough, season it. You use milk and butter. No water. Please don't because it's going to make it hard. Yeah. And then afterwards, you season the fish. After it's a frosted, you clean it, you season it. Then you cook it. Yeah. So all that flavor locks inside. You use whatever seasonings you want to use. Then after a while, you let it rest. I didn't because I'm greedy. I ain't got time. I'm a tourist. I like my food. Period. Yeah. All right. Cool. And then after that, you pull it apart like pulled pork. And then you flatten out the dough after the dough's rested. You let the air come out of it a little bit. Yeah, then you make a ball, you flatten it, you use a knuckle to make a little indent, you put as much fish as you want in there, then you roll it. Don't put too much fish because the fish naturally produces oil, plus the oil you put in the fit, in the pot. So if you put too much fish, the dough will actually start to make holes and gaps and break apart before you can even fry it and it'll be a hot mess. Yeah. So then after that, when you put enough fish, you roll it up and then you start to um, heat up your oil. You're going to put it in medium heat. Medium heat. Cool. Anybody got time for that? Yeah? The way you know is if you put a piece of like salmon or something in it. Yeah, that's not ready yet. <laughs> Bad example. I need to pee. You're going to have to hold it. <laughs> hold it, baby. Yeah. I can't wait. Listen, let me tell you. I love pepper. I, I don't think you guys understand. I love pepper. Shelly, uh, Abby, are you my? Oh shit, it's ready. I think it's ready. Is it ready? It should be ready, you know. Let me put a little bit more oil. Because I feel like, I don't like when I have to, when I have it and then I have to rotate the balls. I don't like that. If I have to rotate, it should be like slightly, not a whole 360, because that's dead. Ain't nobody got time for all of that. But, it's on six. I need to drink more. Drink with me, guys. Smile for me, mom. Friday. Happy Friday. I wish I could play. Listen, listen. Hey, twerk, 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 twerk. Break down there, hey. In the club and I'm a dance like a strip. Hey, dance like a strip. Hey, dance like a strip. Hey. I think this is ready, you know. Let's wait a little bit. Longer. Do you like my balls? Look at it, ball. Look at it. 
Oh, shit. All right, cool. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Wait, 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 wait. Run that by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Cool. Yeah? So we're going to test out this one. This is the smallest one. This is supposed to be Nala's, but I'm probably going to eat it before she wakes up. But it's fine. No, nope, that's not ready. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on, bring it close. Oh, my God. Jesus, have mercy. Take the will, honey child. Okay, now they're ready, yeah? Because look, now this is sizzling. You see it sizzling? You see it? Can you see it sizzling? No, okay, we can't zoom in. All right, cool. So now we're just going to put them in, yeah? Put them in a circular motion until you enclose the middle, yeah? I'm going to show you what I mean. Like that. Not too close together because they're going to swell. See what I'm saying? Too much. Look at that. That's a piece of salmon sticking out. Too much. Because my greedy ass don't know how to stop. Put them in the middle. Just like that. Oh, I burnt my finger. You guys, getting me to 12K. I mean, to, oh my Jesus. 200K. I love you guys so much. I appreciate it so much. I do. Who is she going to do? Yep. Just like that. And now we wait. Yeah, that's about it. All right, cool. So I'm going to come back to you guys when they're basically halfway done. Yep. Yay. <laughs> We're back. Huh? No. <laughs> so we're back. Yeah? All right, cool. So this is how they're supposed to look. Let me just take you guys off the side. Damn! That hurt. I'm not even going to lie, that did hurt. But it's supposed to look like this. Yeah, golden. You don't want it any more darker than this color. If it's darker than this color, it's burnt. Yeah, that's not. That's what we're not going to do. So, woo! All right, cool. We're going to turn this off. So it's ready. Now we're going to plate up. Yeah? We're going to plate it up, motherfucker. All right, cool. So now you're going to need some kitchen roll. You know, whatever you guys call it in America, we call it kitchen roll. I can't remember what you guys call it in America. I'm saying you guys like I'm not raised from america but you're gonna need some of this yeah cool all right so we're gonna turn we're gonna turn to here meow 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 all right cool so Do you have a problem? Do you have a problem? Why are you watching me? Don't watch me. Anyway. So we're going to put this here. We're going to line this here. Like that. Yeah. We're just going to throw that in the trash. Land this here like that. Then we're going to take a spoon with holes in it, you know, you know, you know, okay, cool. And then we're going to just one by one drain off the oil. First of all, let's just move this because I'm accident prone, yeah. I'm really recent. Oh. Look at this, baby. Oh, baby. I want to give it to you. All right, cool. So, we're literally just going to do it like that. You don't want to burn the salmon on the inside as to why I haven't left it for so long. I 
I don't want to see no Jamaican person come for me in the comments because this is how I make it. I haven't had food poisoning since. So, obviously, I'm doing something right. Yeah, I know how to make fried dumpling. Yeah, fried dumpling with salmon in the middle. Don't come for me because you don't. I don't think you've done it. Yeah, all right, cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bam, look at that. Are you mad? Don't even try me. Don't even, don't even try me. Don't even, don't even try me. Don't, don't try me. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? So I'm going to take a little piece. That's hot. I don't even want to do all of that. But yeah. So that's how you make it. It's a bit hot, but I'm going to try and break a piece. Oh my God, it's hot. It's boiling. Listen, I'm going to do a few snaps of me eating it because right now it's not happening. But guys, that is basically the part two of Conco Quatoras. Drunk version. <laughs> but I had to make it up. Do you know why I had to make it up? Because last video, it wasn't really up to how I would like my standards. But I had to give you guys some kind of content. So I was like, alright, cool. Let me just cook something like pescatarian style. Show you guys what I'm working with. Let me move this because it's getting on my nerves. It's making me blind. I don't understand what's going on. But anyway, so yeah. um, Yeah, so... I had to do a part two to make sure you guys thoroughly understood the type of food that I eat. I do not eat meat. I tried again. I did go back and try to eat meat and my belly was just running. So obviously I cannot, it's not happening. It's really not happening. So, um, yeah, that is my salmon balls. If you guys want the detailed, um, step by step, I can write it up, send it to you. It's not really, it's not, it's not really rocket science. It's not hard to, to master. It's, it's really easy. But, um, But I'm about to slather all of this. My mouth is watering. I'm about to put this. Yes, we're about to do this. We're about to do this right now. But yeah, that is Taurus's version of chicken balls, prawn balls, whatever you want to call it, pork balls, whatever you want to call it. This is my version, some balls. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Actually, make sure you um you 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 add me on Snapchat, which is I am underscore C U T number three. I will make sure I put it here, and then go on to my Instagram, which is Taurus O five. I'll make sure I put it there, and then my TikTok, which is Taurus underscore one 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 four times. I'll make sure I put it there. So guys, that that's basically it. That's right, Taurus Nation. I love you guys so much. You actually guys, I, I have to check my TikTok, but as far as I know, I'm. A hundred and ninety nine point nine away from being two k two hundred k views. I need one more human to get me to two hundred k views. Are you guys like doing it for me? And I'm shadow banned. Ah. 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 Don't don't play. You see when you have loyal followers like Taurus Nation, it's there's there's nothing you can stop me from doing. I'm gonna do it anyway. TikTok, you're racist, but I'm going to do it. Because you know what? Ha, Charlie, I'm blessed. I funky, I be, I'm blessed. What? Say it again. I'm blessed. One more time. One more time. I'm blessed. You see it? Speak it. One more time. I'm blessed. You see it? Blessed. But anyways, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to do a few snaps of me eating food so y'all can see what I'm dealing with. But anyways, guys, you know what it is. I'm <laughs> out. You.